Jared Poland Fro Nose Photo dot com and this is the critique from the photos from January 7th and 8th where the theme was vintage I like the critiques this week there's some really good ones that I chose to go in here by the way if you have not voted for the top five be sure to click the link in the description to go vote for somebody to help them win an Adorama Picks book and also leave a Facebook comment so you may be able to win one yourselves and don't forget I just put up the I Shoot Raw Maroon shirts, limited quantity. I know I said 133 in the other video. It's actually only like 87 shirts that I ordered in maroon. So let's get into the critique. We've got Dan Rockhat. Dan Rockhat did a, he did a bunch of different vintage type photos, and I liked this one. I mean, you've got the typewriter, and it's on wheels, so I guess they used to wheel it around, and you would type and stuff. Like, is that a typewriter, or is it a punch card thing? Because... It looks a lot smaller than a normal typewriter. Uh, there's not like enough keys, or I could be totally wrong, and it's just some vintagey, old-looking, yawn <gasps> type of uh, typewriter. What I like about this shot is you've got the old trash can. You've got a piece of paper on the floor. Nice composition. You got the scales of justice up there, and you've got the books. Cool vintagey shot. Moving on to the next one. Vintagey chair bought at a surplus store, uh, one of those uh, Goodwill stores. Feedback on this is I could do without the um, the border, even though it's, it gives it that vintagey feel. I just think the border takes away from it. And in this case, the bottom foot is a little too close to the edge. So pulling back a little bit would have given this a little bit better uh, composition. So remember that keeping something so close to the edge can sometimes detract from the image. Um, I picked this shot out. Oh, I forgot to give the person's name. It's uh, Dean McCoy, uh, and the new one is Frogs. 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 GZ. What I liked about this is it gives you that 1970s Dirk Diggler type of feel. Reed Rothschild, by the way. Um, it gives you that old, like, hey, we're in the pool, and this is an old type of Polaroid color, or or just like old. Kodak film. It just gives you that type of feel. It really looks like it's from the 1970s, and that's what I liked about it. Uh, in terms of composition, I think it's a little tough. You cut off the hands and the arm. Sorry, you cut off the arm at the elbow on the one arm. I probably would have had her leaning in on her arms like this or something, or pulled back so you get more of the water in the front. You want to get it? Um, this person, Jason Limios, Limios. Um, took these in New York. There were a couple of interesting New York shots. This is definitely a 14, 20, uh, I believe a 14 to 24. I would hope it is. Just a really cool shot up in New York. What I like about it is you're up top. The angles are pretty straight. Here comes a sneeze. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. You want to let sneezes out because if you hold them in, they kind of hurt your insides. But when you let out a really good sneeze, it's like freeing. I am free when I sneeze. Um, there were a couple of good shots. There was even one that, uh, you know, I pulled this one instead of the other one where they're, I believe they're on top of this building, looking at the Empire State Building or the Chrysler Building or one of them, and there's one of those viewers that's 50 cents to do a view. I think that would have been a better shot if the person wasn't in it, but obviously this is a critique of this one. I thought it was cool. An interesting angle. I'm not sure how he got it. Really like it. Nice job right there on that honorable mention. We've got J.M. Claire right here taking a picture of a $2 bill. Um... Vintage -y, series 1976. I don't know why they got rid of the two dollar bill, other than people thought it was bad luck. It's got the coolest picture on the back. I mean, you got Jefferson on the front, and you've got the signing of the Declaration of Independence on the back. This is a cool shot. Very shallow depth of field, running right through Jefferson's eyeballs. This is macro. This is technically up close and personal, which is what the new theme is for the weekend for the 14th and 15th of January. So remember that up close and personal is the new theme. So be, be sure to get in on that to win yourself some free stuff. Hello, my name is Dog. What are you looking at? Hello. Oops. Interesting shot. I mean... We've got a pregnant lady in the background with hopefully the guy that impregnated her, and the dog is in the front going, Hello, may I help you? My name is Rover McRoverson, and I am here to go... Anyway, I like the shot. Uh, it's, the color's throwing me off a little bit, but I picked the next one. This is kind of awkward. That is a big-ass dog. It's an awesome-looking dog. 
Hello, I'm an awesome looking rog, and this is my wife. Um, hopefully, yeah, this is a little awkward with a pregnant lady and a big ass dog. You know, you can think of that. B big nose on the dog. This is just a gorgeous dog. I like this shot better than the other one. I just, I like this shot because the dog's right, right, right. He just looks like a droopy eyed dog. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, and this one I just thought was a, a nice shot. Just weird. Weird to have the pregnant lady with the dog because it kind of gives you that feeling. Yeah. Next shot. Um, this is cool. I would love to get a, uh, a shave and a shave. Uh, uh, a lather and a shave, whatever they called it. Vintage, -y, this stuff's coming back with the straight razors in there. You paint your face with that stuff, but I don't like shaving, so that's why I have the beard. Um, like the vintage -y color left here. Very nice job. This is a cool shot. Um, hmm. I like the shot. Uh, da, 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 da. The color, I, I would like to see a little bit more kick in there with a little bit more contrast. I like the split tone. Really nice job on the split tone. Oh, I didn't give the guy's photo the name the last time. This was Lasley, and this one was Johan. Um, yeah, I like this shot. It's a very good musician shot. I would like to keep the fingers in here a little more. The fact that those are cut off is a little awkward. I like the guy's hair up here. It kind of looks like Eli Paperboy Reed. If you haven't checked out Eli Paperboy Reed, he's, he's got some soulful white boy music, soulful gospel white boy music that's pretty cool from like the 50s kind of sound, but he's a new kid out of Chicago. Love his stuff. Um, I like the shot. I like the look. I just want to see a little more kick into the face. Um, here, this is a critique one for Matt Payne, 11. A little too harsh on the, just everything. It's a little over the top, uh, either because it's out of focus or something, or maybe just because it's too large. This is a shot that I would like to see everything in focus. Um, so this would be like, set up a tripod, shoot at 16, you know, F16, get everything in focus, uh, and get... You know, it's a little over top on the processing. I'd like to see it pulled back. For up and up close and personal, don't forget, it would be cool to have the ball and you get down on an uber duber low angle to get something cool. This is an HDR shot from Pilling Photo. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is HDR. It's got to be HDR. There was this one and a more vintage-y looking black and white, but I like the color one. It felt really good with the aqueduct type bridge right there. It really felt cool. I like this shot. I'm kind of curious where it's at, but I thought it was a... God... Oh, excuse me. I thought it was a cool shot, and that's why I put it in here. We've got Piaus Cat, Pius Cat right here. Um, friends friends with, uh, mother of, I think, Killer Kenny Cat. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. She said they bought an old trunk, and this was in the bottom of the trunk, and the old glasses really play really well. I love old uh, newspapers. Reading what is in here is, is just so, so cool. You know, this is how people got their news. I don't need to explain to you. That's how it was done back in the day. August 29th, 1917, San Francisco. Just really cool vintage -y shot. Plays very well into everything. Here's another one from Pious Cat 2. Um, I like the shot. I don't know if this guy, this person in the background is actually holding the picture, uh, holding the camera, but I like it. Really cool concept. Nice job right there. And here's an interesting concept um, from Reno Fazio with all those numbers. The object here was to get the blurring of the hockey puck on the old vintage air hockey table. They did a nice job here. Uh, there may be some cropping, I think, or something done here. Uh, high ISO, obviously you can see a bunch of noise and grain there, but I thought the concept was cool and I love the fact that you're trying something different and going for, and I like that you put a note there that said, hey, I was going for the blur, you know, blurring out of the hockey puck, so nice job there. Vintage stairs. I like this. I would have liked to have seen the full frame. I'm not sure why it's cropped, but I love the color, the feel of this. Interesting fire escape. Could you imagine going down a spiral fire escape? I've never seen one of those. That's just really nice shot from Steve Y. Nice job, Steve, on that shot. This is funny. Um, we've got the dog. I'm a dog. I'm a pit bull. I mean, I'm not a pit bull. Don't call me a pit bull. It's from The Lost. And it's, is this an Eli Manning jersey? Or it's upside down, so it's not an Eli Manning jersey, even though I could see 10. It's probably like number zero, 01. But it's like, what are you doing to me? Because this is a female dog. I think it was uh, Lucy or something. Or Lulu. Um, it's sitting there. It's like, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? That's right. I'm a dog. I'm a lineman. I'm a lineman. Anyway, I like the shot. Nice, nice uh, composition. Uh, I would love to see a little bit more kick into the face. 
but uh, you can see that it was uh, snowy outside and just a really cool dog, really cool shot. Like it. Vintagey shot here from Wolfman. Wolfman, love this uh, VHF -M -M FM. You got off on volume tuning LM VHF. I don't know what all that stuff means, but I love the size of the needle in this. It really is awesome. Very, very cool. I don't know. That's just really cool. I guess there's long band and medium band and all this stuff that we didn't grow up or I didn't grow up with, but I love the color. I love the tone of this. Really cool shot, honorable mention right there. This was cool too. It was windsurfer. Went outside to get some photos of the blue sky and the blue light late at night and ended up doing some long exposure getting the, as they said, quote unquote, soon to be vintage uh, USPS truck. Like the concept. I like what it's going and it's what could USPS do for you? We don't know what they can do for us, but hey, like the shot. Squirrel! And that brings us back to the very beginning. So that is it for your critique for the weekend of the 7th and 8th of January. The new theme is Up Close and Personal. So be sure to get in your Up Close and Personal shots into the form. And don't forget the maroon I Shoot Raw shirt is now in the store. Available for you guys who asked for it in limited quantity. Jared Polin Froknows, photo.com. See ya.